Hey Sash, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and today I'm going to be doing a very short reading for the period that goes from the 25th to the 30th of November. So this is not even a weekly, not really. This is just a very short um, reading to see how you're going to be wrapping up the month of November, okay? Um, remember guys, these are general readings here on YouTube. Many, many viewers may not resonate with you, okay? So take what does, take what applies for you, leave the rest. If this doesn't resonate for you, go ahead and click this off this video immediately and check maybe with your rising sign or your moon sign. And if, you know, by some means it just doesn't apply, then that is just perfectly fine. You can go ahead and find another reader that works for you. The good thing is in YouTube, you will never run out of tarot readers. <laughs> That's a good, good thing. Make sure that if you resonate with my energy or the readings, make sure please that you're subscribed to the channel. I am on a mission <laughs> to try to reach 30k subscribers. I don't know why it's so important to me, but it is. So <laughs> if you want to support me and make my day, I would appreciate it. Okay, universe, let's see what's up with Sagittarius. Main energy, Ten of Swords, crossed by the Eight of Swords, all right. Recent past, Judgment. In your mind, Queen of Pentacles, nice. In your future, Three of Swords, Clarifier, the Emperor. What the universe wants you to know is the King of Swords, okay. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Wands. All righty, Sag, let's see what's up. Okay, main energy for these days, Ten of Swords. So Ten of Swords is, as you can see in the illustration, one of the heavier energies of the tarot. This is a card that talks about rock bottoms. So these may be days in which you come to harsh realizations. This may be days in which you feel like there's a situation in your life that has come to an end, an end of a difficult chapter, a situation that reaches a point of no return, a situation that reaches a point of kind of like I feel like a situation that's been building up and building up and building up and it just kind of reaches its peak right now. And then after that, there's really nothing else to do. After that, all of the truth is out. All of the information is out. Everybody knows everything that they have to do. Everybody knows for better or worse, everything regarding that situation. So it's kind of like a climax, I would say. And after that moment, everything is bringing in its own consequence. So every aspect of that situation is naturally rolling in immediately its own consequence. So there's really no way to interfere at that point. Some people call it when shit hits the fan. I know that's not, you know, very comforting, I guess, but I don't feel like this is major. I don't feel like this is something that's gonna destabilize you in any way. I really don't, Sag. I feel like this is something that you're gonna be grateful for because this is going to bring you the wisdom and the clarity that you need because right now it seems like for a long time, due to this situation, you have been confused. You have been blindfolded. You have been maybe thinking that one thing could be this when in truth it is another thing. Maybe you think that you two persons are in the same page and you're actually in a different book. And this Ten of Swords is going to bring in the clarity. And at this point, I feel like you want the clarity more than you want the stability. It's kind of like when, let's say that you're dating someone, you're starting to date someone, you are dating for like three months and you can sense that there's definitely chemistry. There's definitely, you know, a union there, right? But for moments there, you don't 
feel like you're on the same page. And then you talk about it, but it's not really clear. And you have this nagging intuition that's telling you that this person is just maybe not having the best intentions with you, but they're kind of hiding it, but it's just weird. And at this point, you're like, I don't want to waste my time. Universe, please bring in the clarity, even if it hurts. Like, I don't want to waste my time. If this needs to crumble, make it crumble today. Because I am not willing to waste another three months before realizing what I am, you know, wishing to realize. So this could apply in work. This could apply in love. This could apply in health. This could apply for in many different ways for all of you, of course. The context is going to be different for all of you guys. But I feel like you guys are asking for this. You're like, universe, bring in... Kind of like a tower moment, even though we're not seeing the tower here. I do feel like you're like... Bring in the tower because I want to know. I'm not willing to invest more of me. You're wishing for that judgment to come in. You're wishing for the clarity to come in. For some of you, the clarity has come in and shit has hit the fan. And you're like, okay, I guess I wanted to know and I didn't like the answer. I asked for it, so that's good, I guess. Now I know. For others of you, you are in the process of getting kind of sick of it and asking. You're in the process in which you have realized that you've had enough and you're asking the universe for that intervention. This could be related to an Aries person for some of you, or a Capricorn Virgo Taurus, or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. <laughs> There's Everybody's here. <laughs> um, but I feel like you're thinking in a very empowered way. You're thinking with a lot of self-love. You're like, I am the queen of pentacles. I have so much to offer. I have so much beauty and generosity, and I know that I can give a lot. And I can bring a lot to the table. So if I'm not gonna be showered with as much beauty back, then I don't wanna give all that generosity away. You know what I mean? Like I wanna be in something that makes me feel honored. And if that's not the case, then I don't wanna be a part of it. As I mentioned, this could be love, this could be work, this could be health, this could be anything. But you're thinking from a very grounded space, and I love that. You're not thinking from an anxious space or a stressed out space. You're thinking very clearly. You're saying, I am worth a lot. And I am not going to let myself be mistreated in any way. Good, Sag. Very good. And the universe wants you to, to continue to think that way and to be very objective. The universe wants you to continue to focus on the facts more than what your emotions might want you to think. Sometimes our emotions, I feel like they want to be felt. Beauty and joy wants to be felt. Love wants to be felt. And sometimes it's not really justified. Sometimes anything can really make love want to be felt and love is like feel me feel me and then when we focus on the facts it's like you really shouldn't be feeling love at this point like that's not really justified this person doesn't deserve your love or you're not in the point of the relationship in which that is making any sense at all but love is wishing to be felt so focus more on the facts focus more on the intellect and that groundedness in which you are standing your ground because that's a good way to navigate the situation some of you guys might realize that this discovery could be a little painful but you're gonna be grateful for it and you're gonna feel more like an authority within your life within your own life for asking for it before maybe some of you guys would have said i would give anything to not know let me be blind in this situation for years. I don't want to know the truth. I can be with this person and they might think that this is just, you know, a very casual thing. And I might think that this is the love of my life. And even if that's the case, I don't want to know. Because I want to be blinded and enjoy the ignorance. Maybe that would have been you before. But now you're like, I feel proud of myself because I'm taking care of me. I'm not going to let anyone waste my time. I'm not going to let anyone mistreat me. And it is a signal of power 
that even though I know it hurts and even though I know it's not nice, I have stepped up for myself and I have asked for the truth. And I haven't received it and it hurts and maybe it sucks, but it's good for me to have that truth. You go Sage. This is awesome. I like it. I like it very much. I appreciate it. I admire it. You go. Love it. So yes, my Sag, I hope that you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. I love to see you so empowered. Honestly, it's really good. It's also kind of like something that's a good reminder for me as well, even though I'm not a Sag, but still. Um, guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. Thank you for being a part of this reading, for your presence, for your energy. Please, if you resonate with my energy or the reading, please make sure to be subscribed to the channel. I would really appreciate it. And check out all of the links in the description box below. Bye, my lovelies.